Here's a secret ingredient to cracking those tricky non-behavioral interview questions. Imagine you're already in the role. By forming a deep understanding and connection with the role, it will allow you to stand out in the interview. In today's video, we're going to demystify answering the question, what is an API? But here's the twist. We're going to alter the answer based on your desired role. Watch how the explanation takes on a whole new dimension when we address it as a software engineer, a product manager, or a program manager. So let's get started. Let's start with a software engineer. What is an API? I'm going to start by asking some clarifying questions. Are we referring to web APIs or more generally any kind of programming interface like library APIs? Should the explanation include a technical understanding of APIs, or is it a high-level conceptual understanding that you're looking for? Are we focusing in on REST APIs, SOAP APIs, or both? Would you like me to discuss how APIs can be used or simply what they are? And then lastly, are we looking for understanding on public APIs, APIs that are open to the public, or private APIs more for internal use at a company? Okay, a few concepts we should focus in on are web APIs, RESTful APIs, and SOAP APIs. I wanna be thinking about use cases, endpoints, HTTP methods, JSON slash XML, authentication, public slash private APIs, and overall benefits. Let's go ahead and make a few assumptions. As a software engineer, I'm assuming our discussion about APIs revolves around their usage in building, integrating, and managing software applications. I'll consider both private APIs, which are crucial for microservices architecture, and public APIs that are used to interact with third-party services. Additionally, I'll focus primarily on web APIs given their prevalence in modern software development. So let's start by solving for web APIs and RESTful APIs. So obviously APIs are a set of rules that allow different software applications to communicate with each other. Web APIs specifically use HTTP protocols to facilitate this communication over the web. This allows different applications to exchange data and perform operations on each other's behalf. A specific type of web API that's gained a lot of popularity recently is the RESTful API. And REST stands for Representational State Transfer. It is an architectural style that defines a set of constraints to be used for creating web services, including stateless services, servers and structured access to resources. REST APIs use HTTP methods like get, post, put, delete, etc., to perform CRUD, create, retrieve, update, and delete operations on the resources. For instance, when using a social media platform like Twitter, now X, if you want to post a tweet, for example, the application will make a post request to X's RESTful API. This request will include the necessary data, like content for the power of a tweet or whatever we're calling it now, and authentication details, after which the API will process the request and return a response. In the context of our assumptions as a software engineer, I would use such APIs to create seamless user experiences, integrate with other services, and build modular, scalable applications. I think that's a good stopping point. Would you like me to focus more on use cases and authentication, or should we discuss SOAP APIs? All right, let's, let's turn our focus to SOAP APIs. So for SOAP APIs and their use cases, SOAP, otherwise known as Simple Object Access Protocol, is a messaging protocol specification for exchanging structured information in the implementation of web services using XML. Unlike REST APIs that are stateless, SOAP APIs can support operations which require a higher level of security and transactional integrity like financial services. For instance, in an e-commerce platform, if a user wants to make a payment, a SOAP API can be used to communicate with a payment gateway. This API will carry the XML, the XML payload containing the necessary transaction details and will provide robust security features such as WS security. The SOAP APIs are really crucial in such sensitive use cases where you know, data integrity and security is paramount, especially with companies, financial companies. 
I'd use SOAP APIs where complex transactions and secure communications are required. Now we can move on and focus a little bit more on HTTP methods and JSON slash XML, or would you like to discuss public and private APIs? I think the latter would be fun. Let's do that. So by diving into public and private APIs and potential success metrics for them, public APIs, also known as open APIs, are publicly available for other developers to use and expand the reach of the company's services or data. Now, private APIs, on the other hand, are used to internally within the company to improve the products and services by enabling different software components to communicate with each other. Success metrics for these APIs could include their uptime, number of successful requests, response time, the number of active integrations, and the overall developer satisfaction. For instance, if we're managing an API for weather data, for example, I would measure the success of our public API based on the number of third-party applications using our data, the volume of requests, and then the feedback we receive from the developer community. On the other hand, for private APIs with a microservices architecture, success might be gauged by you know, a smooth inner service communication, the reduction in code duplication, and the overall increase in development speed and product scalability. As a software engineer, measuring these metrics can help me continuously improve the APIs and ensure they serve their purpose effectively. I think we're at a good stopping point. Is there any additional information I can provide for you? Okay, now let's move on and let's focus in on the answer like we're a product manager and notice how every piece of the answer changes based on the role. So again, what is an API? We're gonna answer and start by clarifying as a product manager. Are we referring to APIs in the context of platform products or general software applications? Is the question focused on the strategic role of APIs in product development or the technical details of what an API is? Is our emphasis on the process of managing APIs or the utilization of APIs for product integration? Do we focus in on the business advantages of APIs such as generating revenue or fostering partnerships? And lastly, should our discussion center on public APIs that facilitate third-party integrations or private APIs that improve internal processes? A few concepts that we should focus on to get started are, we really wanna look at API strategies and overall API monetization. We wanna be thinking about the developer ecosystem. We definitely wanna be thinking about API metrics, partner integrations, the overall customer value, then other items like API documentation, API versioning, API security, which is a big one, and lastly, innovation, of course, in the product space. So let's make a few assumptions. As a product manager, let's assume we're talking about APIs in the context of a platform product. This platform serves multiple third-party developers, partners, and customers who rely on our APIs to create valuable experiences for their users. We'll also focus in on how APIs can be a strategic tool in generating revenue, fostering partnerships, and enabling innovation. So why don't we start by focusing in on the API strategy and overall developer ecosystem, two critical pieces. So of course, API stands for Application Programming Interface, and it's a set of rules and protocols that allow different software applications to communicate with each other. From a product perspective, APIs represent opportunities for strategic growth and innovation. An effective API strategy involves understanding how APIs can deliver business value. This may include leveraging APIs to generate direct revenue through an API as a product model, for example, enabling third-party integrations, or driving innovation by allowing developers to build on top of our platform. A key aspect of this strategy is fostering a robust developer ecosystem. Developers are the main consumers of our APIs and their success directly influences the success of a product. So providing comprehensive documentation, versioning information, and strong technical support can create a positive developer experience and that's basically gonna to lead to higher adoption of our APIs. 
Now, as a product manager, I'd focus in on creating a strategic roadmap for our APIs, ensuring that they provide significant value to our developers and align with our overall business goals. I think a good next step is to either maybe focus a little bit more on API monetization and partner integrations or discuss API metrics. Let's start with the former. I think that's a good place for us to go. So by focusing in on API monetization and partner integrations, monetizing an API can be a strategic move to generate additional revenue for your company. So this can be achieved in several ways, such as charging a premium for API features. We can be using the API as a channel for selling our product or even charging per API call depending on the business model. Now, partner integrations, on the other hand, are all about leveraging APIs to establish strategic partnerships with other companies. For instance, a travel booking platform might integrate with various airlines and hotel chains via their APIs. These integrations enrich the product's offering, providing more value to customers and thus potentially increasing user retention and growth. As a product manager, my goal would be to understand how to strategically monetize our APIs and identify potential partners that can add value to our product through API integrations. So as a, maybe a last step, should we focus more on customer value and API documentation or discuss API security? I think it makes sense to talk a little bit about security because it's so critical. Um, let's talk about the value specifically that API security brings to customers. It is really about ensuring that your APIs, our APIs are only accessed by authorized parties and that they perform the task securely. This can involve measures like OAuth for authentication, implementing rate limiting to prevent abuse and regularly testing the APIs for vulnerabilities. In secure Ensuring that the security of our APIs directly contributes to the customer value, customers need to trust us with their data, and it's our responsibility to protect that trust. A breach in API security could lead to data leaks, negatively affecting our customers, and definitely damaging our brand reputation. As a product manager, I would work closely with the engineering team to ensure that API security is a top priority in our product development process with regular audits, just implementing best practices in our API security and educating our developers and partners about these practices would be my overall strategy. I think this is a good stopping point. Please let me know if you have any additional questions. So again, you can see how different the approach was from a product perspective. It was more about collaboration, specifically collaboration with engineering, a little bit more strategy based. So Let's dive into our last use case, which is looking at this from a program manager perspective. So again, what is an API? We're gonna dive in and we're gonna to start to clarify and go through our answer. Are we discussing APIs in the context of a specific program with multiple projects or are we addressing APIs in a general organizational context? Should the focus be on how APIs contribute to the success of a program or are we exploring the role of program management in the life cycle of APIs? I would also wanna know, are we considering APIs as a means of enabling inner product, inner project or inner department communication? Is there a specific type of API we should be focusing in on, REST, SOAP, GraphQL? And should the discussion involve how program management can affect the decision making around the process for public, partners, or private APIs? A few very robust questions. Let's dive into our overall approach, some critical areas that we should be thinking about. We should be thinking about the overall program strategy, cross-functional collaboration, risk management. Obviously, communication is key. Stakeholder management is key. We wanna be thinking about the life cycle of APIs, overall project coordination and resource allocation, dependencies, and of course, KPIs. Let's dive in, let's make a few assumptions. As a program manager, let's assume I'm overseeing a program that comprises of multiple projects related to API development, implementation, and management. The program involves different teams across the organization, including dev, product, marketing, and sales, and 
aims to improve the interdepartmental communication, enhance product capabilities, and expand our overall market reach. I think we should start by focusing in on the overall program strategy and cross-functional collaboration. So an API, an application programming interface, is a set of rules and protocols for building and interacting with software applications. It's a way for different software systems to communicate and share data with each other. In a program management context, APIs can be seen as strategic assets that can affect multiple projects within a program. A well thought out program strategy around APIs can greatly influence the success of our overall program. It can determine how effectively the projects within the program achieve their objectives and how well they align with the broader organizational goals. Effective cross-functional collaboration is essential in this strategy. Different teams, development, again, marketing, sales, customer support, need to work together seamlessly to ensure APIs deliver their maximum value. This collaboration can help align the technical aspects of the API development with the business and customer requirements, ultimate lead, ultimately leading to successful API adoption. As a program manager, my role would be to define and drive the strategy, ensuring effective collaboration between the teams and alignment with the overall program and organizational goals. I think a good next step is to focus maybe a little bit more on risk management and communication, or we can discuss project coordination. I think let's start with the former. Let's explore the concepts of risk management and communication. APIs, like any software component, come with their own set of risks. This can include technical risks such as vulnerabilities or business risks like failing to meet customer expectations or regulatory requirements. Effective risk management is crucial in the program strategy. Communication is another key aspect in managing a program involving APIs. Keeping all the stakeholders informed about the status, risks, and dependencies of different projects is essential. This includes communicating with technical teams about implementation details, with marketing, about APIs capabilities and customer benefits, and with leadership about progress and alignment with business goals. As a program manager, I'd put measures in place to identify, assess, and mitigate risks associated with APIs. I'd also establish clear communication challenges to ensure that all stakeholders are kept informed and can contribute effectively to the program's success. Now, I think we could focus a little more on stakeholder management and the API lifecycle, or we could focus a little bit on resource allocation. Again, I like the former. Let's, let's focus there. And so if we're thinking and discussing stakeholder management and the API lifecycle in the context of program management, stakeholder management involves identifying all the people of the organization who have an interest in the API program and ensuring their needs and expectations are met. This could range from internal stakeholders like developers to external ones like stakeholders or partners who use the APIs. Managing the API lifecycle is an another important aspect. This includes overseeing all stages from internal design and development to deployment, versioning, and retirement of APIs. A program manager must ensure smooth transitions between these stages while keeping stakeholder needs and the program's program goals in mind. In the role of the program manager, I would regularly engage with all the stakeholders, of course, understand their needs and concerns, and ensure that these have all been addressed throughout the API lifecycle. By doing so, I can help ensure the successful delivery of a program and alignment with the overall business objectives. Please let me know if you have any additional questions. So these are three incredibly robust answers, but this is going to be the process you're going to want to go through. You're going to have probably more engagement from your interviewer in those transitions to pick the directions as you go through multiple solutions. At the end of the day, you can see how different the answers are depending on the role. Wear the hat of the role and you'll have tremendous success. Good luck.